This morning, family and friends are remembering two high school sweethearts who were killed in a violent crash in Hacienda Heights last night. They were in their truck near the 7th Avenue off-ramp from the 60 freeway when a car came flying off the road. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal just spoke with relatives. She's live at the scene with what they had to say. Jasmine? Well, Rick, we are just feet away from where this crash happened. And behind me, you can see friends of the victims. They have been stopping by when this van moves. You're going to see a memorial there. Friends of the victims have been stopping by the memorial of candles and flowers for George Stewart and Sabrina Castillo. Now, they were just minutes from home. They were headed to a night out with friends when their truck was hit by an out of control car. It's like, it can't be true. You know, it's just, it's devastating and it's really hard. Through the tears, Brennan Castillo and his brother OJ want to share the happy memories of their beloved niece, Sabrina. And she was full of energy, very smart, very intelligent, very just like full of life. Just a special kid, you know. We're really going to miss her. The 18 year old Los Altos High School graduate, along with her football star boyfriend, George Stewart, were killed in this car crash last night in Hacienda Heights, just minutes from where they lived and grew up. They were on their way to Knott's Scary Farm when the unthinkable happened. Many of their former classmates arrived at school this morning with heavy hearts. She was really good at football, and she would always, they're very supportive for their kids. Like, the parents really were very supportive. Happy in love. Yeah. High school sweethearts. CHP says the 68 year old driver of a Lexus was speeding down the 7th Avenue off ramp just before 7 p.m. and lost control, bottoming out and colliding with the center median that sent his car flipping into the white truck carrying the couple. The Castillo family says it's an exit they use every day and will now have to face the pain over and over again. Two young people to, to go that quickly, it's not right. George was playing his first season of college football at Mount Sac. Sabrina was studying at Citrus College. Make sure her memory lives on and, and do whatever you can. And back out here live, there is a memorial I was mentioning of the flowers and candles set up for these two 18-year-olds. Uh, CHP says no arrest has been made. Uh, they also say it does not appear that alcohol or drugs appear to be a factor that led to this crash. As for the people in the sedan, the two people inside of that car, they are expected to make a full recovery. Rick Sharon. Wow. All right, thank you, Jasmine. A plane